I really love about this county is the hubbub of the harbours and the frenzy of the fishermen going about their business, bringing in the freshest catch of the day. In the tiny village of Helford, dawn is breaking and the morning commute has already begun. The crew of the Lady Hamilton aren't the usual team though. On board is fisherwoman Lorna Bean. My children's size oilers. <laughs> this is about as small as they go. <laughs> There's a busy day ahead. Lorna, along with her crewmate Chino and her father Chris, are working for the family sushi business. And if today's trip out to sea proves fruitful, in a matter of hours, some hungry mouths as far afield as London will be fed. We've got to get in by about two o'clock to get the fish graded, iced and packed, and onto a lorry by four o'clock so they're in the restaurant the same day as it's caught. I think it's 42 years since I started fishing. In the last five years, things have changed enormously. Quite a large sector of the public now will pay decent money for decent fish. I can think of worse commutes to work. It's lovely. It's really warm, flat calm, lovely. Lorna's job sees her working throughout the harsh winter months. But despite being less than five foot tall, she mucks in. This is how a lady shoots the chains. <laughs> I asked her if she'd let them fill in, and she filled in for the week. She ended up staying five years. Hmm. Ooh, that was close. The Lady Hamilton has seen Lorna through memorable times. Lady Hamilton was the carriage to the church. Dad came and picked me up, put loads of flowers and foliage all around the bow and made her look lovely. <laughs> to satisfy the sushi lovers, today's catch needs to produce some good varieties, and it looks like they won't be disappointed. Real. Yay! Yeah, 25 quid, that's, that's... Monk! Yay! You don't want to put your hand in there. <laughs> they pretend they're asleep and then very quickly they can snap their jaw shut. There's even a few surprises, like this spur dog, a member of the shark family and one of the most endangered species of fish. Lucky escape for that one. It's three o'clock and time to head back in and get the fish packed up and loaded in the vans on its way up country. There's always such a rush to get it on the lorry. But I think that's it. Let's see you back at Chikus. For Lorna Bean, it's job done, meaning she can hang up her waders and put her feet up. <laughs>